If you've spent some time on YouTube, you probably know what a VPN is. VPN companies are bombarding viewers with ads on YouTube. One of their main selling points is that they allow you to watch Netflix shows from different countries. If you're in the UK, you won't be able to access a lot of shows that Netflix in the US has to offer, like these. Meanwhile, if you're in the US, you won't be able to watch these shows. So why does this happen? Netflix is the most prominent and widely known online streaming platform in the world. It has almost thousands of movies and TV shows available for viewers and it offers its services in more than 190 nations around the globe. As of 2021, Netflix has around 208 million subscribers worldwide, out of which 65 million are from the US. But if you wanted to watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia on Netflix, chances are you won't be able to find it. This famous sitcom is only available on Netflix UK. According to Netflix, the difference in the catalog of movies and TV shows across different regions is related to popularity and purchasing rights. Netflix library is different from region to region because of how movies and TV shows are licensed. Organizations who own the right to the movies and TV shows enforce copyright by country. With current copyright laws and agreements, Netflix negotiates with each studio to arrange specific agreements to stream titles in each territory. Netflix pays a lot for streaming rights. Netflix has spent more than $17 billion in licensed content as of 2020. Netflix is not going to spend so much money on a show unless a lot of people will watch it. American sitcoms don't have much following in Japan, and therefore, paying to own the rights for parks and recreation for Netflix Japan would be a bad financial choice. Sometimes, another company already owns the rights to shows or movies, and Netflix can't get it unless the other company decides to sell it to Netflix. For example, The West Wing is on Netflix US, but in Australia, another streaming company called Stan holds the rights, and therefore Netflix Australia doesn't have it. If a show isn't that popular in one country, the rights will be pretty cheap there. If it's in demand in another country, then they'll be expensive there. So Netflix has to carefully decide which movies or shows will be profitable for them. A content owner may provide license to multiple streaming platforms such as Hulu or Amazon Prime Video, making the licensing agreements between parties non-exclusive. Licensing agreements that are non-exclusive are generally less expensive to obtain. The movies or shows that Netflix has exclusive rights to or produces in-house are called Netflix Originals. Netflix uses consumer data to determine what the content viewers tend to see and relies heavily on this information to determine the total cost of each licensing agreement. Netflix is investing heavily in producing its own movies and TV shows like Stranger Things and Bojack Horseman. Netflix has invested $17.3 billion in producing original content as of 2020. While Netflix continues to plow cash into new originals all over the world, its licensed content library is shrinking. Disney, AT&T, and others are pulling back content for their own streaming services. Some VPNs claim that they let Netflix users access library of any country they want. That's not actually true. According to Netflix, using a VPN will only allow the user to see TV shows and movies available to all regions globally. Netflix has also blocked a lot of VPNs. But nonetheless, using a VPN is a good habit. The only downside of using a VPN is that the hot singles in your area will no longer want you.